Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1984 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today we have game two of the ALCS featuring the Detroit Tigers versus the California Angels at Anaheim Stadium. On the mound for the Tigers today is Tom Browning, whose regular season record was 8-3 with a 3.38 ERA. And pitching for the California Angels is Mike Witt whose regular season record was 19-5 with a 3.07 ERA. Okay, game one is in the books. We won 3 to nothing on a stellar pitching performance from Jack Morris. Um, totally unexpected. In fact, he had a no-hitter through six and two-third innings yesterday. And just for a minute, I allowed myself to believe that we would actually get a no-hitter uh, and... It would be in the playoffs. You know, I felt really cl good about it, and it just did not happen. Uh, but more, most importantly, we got the win on the road. Now, if we can win today, well, we don't want to get over our skis. But if we can win today, then we've only got to win one game at home. Um, and that matchup is Frank Tanana versus Dan Petrie. Uh, so we have not fared too well versus lefties this year, Tanana being a lefty. Uh, but you know what, if we are on a 10-game uh, a winning streak right now with the win yesterday. And, uh, you know, I, I like our chances today. Tom Browning's been pitching pretty terribly. Um, he's kind of like Tim Robbins in the Shawshank Redemption, <laughs> popping up on the mound covered in shit. Um, but, uh, I don't know, maybe he can come through for us today. Let's go ahead and uh, get today's game started. As always, I appreciate everyone following along, like, and or subscribe to the channel. After today's game, we'll uh, post uh, the game two of the ALCS from the 1982 season. Uh, that's where everything went wrong. If you haven't ever watched that game, um, it is a performance in exactly how this game destroys all your hope. Um, so that game will be... Uh, posted after today's game in that little box that pops up like right about here. Now we got Tom Browning on the mound today. As I said, it looks like according to uh, the stat line here, he's barely ever played against the Angels. We know that's not true. Morris through a couple of games, so all the bullpen is available today. Then we take a look at the lineup. Same lineup as yesterday. Mike Witt is a righty. And uh, just as a note, Alan Trammell is listed as tired. But we're going to play him with the day off tomorrow, so no big deal. Okay. Let's go ahead and do the official lineup rundown for the Detroit Tigers. Batting leadoff in center field is Willie Wilson. Batting second at shortstop is Alan Trammell. Batting third at third base is George <coughs> is George Brett. Batting cleanup in left field is Kirk Gibson. Batting fifth at first base is Kenny Smith. Batting sixth and catching is Terry Kennedy. Batting seventh and DHing is Kevin Bass. Batting eighth in right field is Glenn Wilson. And batting ninth, playing second base, is Sweet Lou Whitaker. Okay, Mike Witt. Had a fantastic year. Um, could possibly win the Cy Young Award. He made only 28 starts, really. 19 and 5. With a 307 ERA, 153 strikeouts in 205 innings pitched. He didn't walk very many. Gave up 20 home runs, however. Opponents are batting 219 against him. Seven complete games and five shutouts. If you saw the um, League Leaders video, you know that he led the American League in shutouts. Fastball tops out at 89 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 45.5%. Uh, His best pitch is the hard curve. It's rated a 90 and a fastball at 82. Overall rated a 90. The 24-year-old righty is arbitration eligible at the end of the 85 season. Look at his log. Look at his playoff log. He has yet to play Detroit this year. So first time facing the Tigers. He did pitch in the All-Star game and gave up a run. Okay. Let's take a look at the defense for the Angels. Um, 
they have all the no they have it mixed up today what is the difference oh because we have a lefty on the mound sorry it's difficult for me to see this so darren jackson is in center field for the angels uh replacing gary pettis who's a switch hitter that's weird mike brown goes to right um and glenn hubbard will play second so the so they do have three batters in their lineup that they platoon interesting okay willie wilson leading off versus mike witt let's get out front early wilson a line drive to third howell makes the play one down next man up is alan trammell trammell with a ground ball to second hubbard a 96 rating at second base that is elite level and as expected he makes the play two outs for george brett brett's got a one two count and he strikes out mike witt looking good in the first we go to the bottom half let's take a look at that angels lineup batting leadoff in the left field is rolando rooms batting second at first base is daryl sconiers Batting third and catching is Brian Harper. Batting cleanup, playing third base is Jack Howell. Batting fifth in center field is Darren Jackson. Batting sixth in right field is Mike Brown. Batting seventh in DHing is Paul Molitor. Batting eighth at second base is Glenn Hubbard. And batting ninth is the shortstop Gus Polidor. Okay, Tom Browning. Poop covered. We've already said it. Making his 14th start. Oh, I'm sorry. He had 14 starts in the regular season. 8-3. 338 ERA. 59 strikeouts in 90 and 230 innings pitched. Opponents are betting 243 against him. He had a complete game and a shutout. Fastball tops out at 89 miles an hour. His screwball is his out pitch, which is rated an 89. The fastball is an 81. Overall an 87. The 24-year-old lefty is arbitration eligible at the end of the year. And we will have to choose between Jack Morris and Tom Browning. We can't have them both. Can't have nice things. Look at his log. Look at how his log shows what a terrible job he did. He crushed it at first. This is where we got him. That first start in Milwaukee. After he lost five of six and then he won eight in a row one two three four five eight in a row and then he's terrible again so i think maybe we just traded for him at the optimum time uh in which he was due to have a winning streak because he's been awful absolutely terrible but i put him in the second spot instead of petrie to do that right lefty right you know mix-up thing um, that sometimes managers like to do. Here's our defense. It's good. That's all you need to know. It's good. We got Kennedy behind the plate. He had a great game yesterday defensively, and he had home run. Okay, Rolando Rooms leading off versus Tom Browning. A 2-2 count, and Rooms strikes out. So Browning coming out of the gate, throwing strikes. Catches him on that fastball. Daryl Scaniers, lefty on lefty violence. Oh, he got it all. That's gone. Wow. First home run of the playoffs for the Angels. They didn't have any yesterday, if I recall correctly. Well, yeah, it was the 3-0 game. <laughs> so, okay. Scaniers jumps on that screwball and parks it 421 feet. And then Brian Harper goes down the right field line to the wall for a double. Harper had 40 doubles in the regular season. That's the first hit of the series. So the Angels already have as many hits as they had yesterday. This is a bad sign, right? Runner on second. Here's Jack Howell, one out. That's a fly ball to right. Harper will not tag. Not on Wilson. 
Two down. Here's the rookie, Darren Jackson. He batted 333 with one home run. He does have 94 power and 90 speed. I don't remember Darren Jackson having any power. That's the base hits, two to nothing. Okay, well, we will not let this go much longer. We got plenty of bullpen arms and a day off. Mike Brown grounds out, and the Angels are on top, two to nothing, going to the top of the second. Gibby will lead off. Gibby had a big home run in yesterday's ball game. Got the Tigers on the board. Brown ball to first. One out. Here's Kenny Smith. Kenny Smith had a good ball game. He had a couple of hits and a walk, and he strikes out. So, uh, yeah, this is not looking good for us. As Kennedy pops out. This is the reverse moguling from yesterday's game. Tom Browning coming back out for the second. Paul Molitor leading off. Molitor with a ground ball to Trammell. One down. Here's Glenn Hubbard. He had 12 home runs. Being a part-time player, it's pretty good. I think you would agree. A comebacker to Browning for out number two. And Gus Polidor with two down. Sharply hit ball at Trammell. And a 1-2-3 inning. There's a good bounce back for Browning. Maybe it's too little too late. That might be the, all the Angels need to win today are those two runs. We're moving on to the top of the third, and it's the bottom third of the lineup. Yeah, we got nothing today. They're giving us nothing to work with. Glenn Wilson flying out to center. And Lou gets a base hit. Do we want to go for two? No, we do not. Not down two runs. We'll let Willie Wilson take a cut. Pops it. Well, we will not go hitless today. That's something, I suppose. We do go to the bottom of the third. And Rolando Rooms leading off. Started the game with a strikeout, and then it all fell to shit right after that. Infield single. Okay, that's it. Oh, no. We'll let him pitch to a lefty. Oh, he already jacked him, didn't he? Fuck that. He's coming out of the game. We're going to bring in the creeper. Lefty on lefty violence. Creeper had a great season. At one point, his ERA was well over four. And then he just kind of worked it down. Um, he did make it into one game in the ALCS against Seattle back in 82. He did all right. Okay, runner on first. Nobody out. Lefty on lefty. And Rooms steals second base on a lefty. That makes no sense. 2-2 two, two count to Scaniers, and he strikes out. Good job by the Creeper. So, runner in scoring position for Harper. This is going to be a tough out. We could walk him, try to set the double play. That's what we're going to do. It's really very early to do this in a ball game, but we know how the game operates. Harper would have surely got a hit, and that run would have scored. He would not have stolen second base on a left-hander unless that run would have scored you know unless that ba uh, base runner would have scored on um, a hit by harper so we've taken that away from the game and howell a 170 hitter could very easily with his terrible speed uh hit into a double play nope so this ball game is over that's it for this one you pull the infield in now it don't matter We go to the top of the fourth. We're just playing it out now. 
They're going to give us some junk runs. Maybe they're not. Base hit for Polidor. Oh, no. Alrighty. Well, we tried to do what was right, but the game just would not let us get away with one today. Gibson will come out. And uh, let's bring in Brian Kelly. He has not pitched in a long time. We gave him a very extended period off. The last time he pitched was on September 22nd. And he's been kind of useless to us. And yet he could be our best pitcher. <laughs> That's no joke. All right. Let's just try to get through this one here. Sixth inning. Glenn Wilson gets the one jump run for us today. Is that his second home run? He's got two solo shots. I think I said Gibby hit a home run yesterday. He did not. It was Kennedy and Wilson. Always a strikeout after a run. Yeah, none of this is helpful. I mean, nobody cares. Give Kelly one more. Now, I, um, I keep saying that I'm going to put up the MVP voting. I keep forgetting to do it, but I will literally do it after this game is recorded. So once this game is done, before I even upload it, I'm going to go right to the, um, the YouTube page as you bring in a right fielder, Terry Poole, for some reason. Um, and I'm gonna go to the, to the YouTube uh, homepage uh, under postings, and I will put the um, MVP candidates under there, and you can feel free to vote. I think it's a tough call, you know? Um, I mean, I would have said 110% it would have been Kennedy as our MVP. Um, but now I'm kind of leading toward Gibson. Like, I don't think we get here without Gibson. Oh, we got some lefties. Let's undo this. Let's give Keith Comstock a chance to pitch. He pitched in three games in the 82 L ALCS. He was like our only good pitcher in that. Oh, yeah, the old lefty on lefty. There's just no chance. This game is so ass backward. Top of the eighth. This is so stupid. They're bringing in their closer. One of the nasty boys is Jeff Brantley. He's a rookie. And he's been in nine games and they've already made him the closer. Um, I mean, I checked before the ball game. They have three people who've closed this season. Again, a huge glitch 
in this game. One of the thousands of glitches. Uh, now, George Brett, by the way, hit a grand slam in game 162. You know he wants to park this one. Here we go. 1-0 no count. Nope. The least he could do is just get one run in. Wilson will tag. We're not going to win, so don't even think that. I mean, we're just... This is a game doing everything it can. Like, a pop-up, right? There's no chance. Smith does walk. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so there, there's no chance we're winning. Um, let's get that uh, Tom Hankey in there. This is his first playoff appearance ever. He's been terrible. And we can only afford Hankey or Smith. And when we traded for Hankey, it was 100% going to be Hankey. And now I'm absolutely leading Smith. Smith has been better and more reliable. He had a couple big um, blow-ups early on. And I think the game had to force us to lose some games because of our regular season record. But we can't afford both of them. So they've had a run score on a pass ball and a wild pitch today. That's how shitty this game is. There's an error, too. So, the, yeah, like I'm glad that we're getting this all out of our system. Doesn't matter. This is so dumb. Do we have anybody on the bench that can hit a home run? Not really. Probably would have been nice to have Jeff Stone in this situation. How do you not go home on that? Why are you still on third base? Wow, this game absolutely had it in for us today. What a bunch of horse shit. So stupid. Absolutely dumb as hell. All right, come on, man. The, the, we're not going to win. Like, this is just what the game does. It's really pathetic. And with a whimper. All right. So we do have a day off. Let's go ahead and play that day in advance. And then we'll take a look at the, um, the playoffs because we, we don't know how the Dodgers are doing, do we? I think I forgot to check that. Okay, so the Angels won one at home. A uh, game looks better than it was. It was never that close. So now we are on the fourth. Let's take a look at headline news. Uh, nope, nobody cares. Transactions, more retirements. Tommy Sand retired. Retired. Uh, Dave Heverlow retired. He hadn't pitched since 82. Butch Metzger retires. He hadn't pitched since 1978. Way to get around to retiring, Butch. For the love of the game. Let's go ahead and pull up. Oh, playoffs. There we go. Oh, both series are tied. Looks like the Mets... Oh, interesting. The Dodgers won... Three to nothing as well in game one. And that score was seven to six. Starts with eight to six. This is so dumb. So lame. But now the Mets go to LA. And we leave LA and head back home for three games. Best two of three. That's what it comes down to. Um, you know what? Let's uh let's take a look at our we're playing, I guess a lefty. Oh, they're going with a four-man rotation 
as Dave Frost is supposedly going to play against Jack Morris. Um, okay, yeah, we don't have anybody tired. I just wanted to make sure. Okay. All right, let's pull up that box score and get out of here. That's a bunch of crap. A waste of time. A waste of everybody's time. Um, but you, if, if you thought this game was bullshit, you should watch the ALCS game two that's going to pop up right about here in a couple seconds. That game is even worse than this one, and that's saying a lot. Uh, George Brett showed up. He had three RBI. He's the player of the game for us. Tom Browning, garbage. Paul Gibson, he, I don't blame him at all. He had to give up the runs. There's nothing else he could do. He walked three. They had a pass ball against him. I mean, an error as well was all in there. So uh, he had no chance. The game was never going to let him get uh, through there unscathed. Tom Hankey pretty much sealed his fate. He will not be around next year. Um, that was a big waste of talent that we traded away. Mike Witt gets the win. Great job by him. Jeff Bradley gets the save despite giving up runs, which he was also forced, just like Gibson was forced to kind of do. There was a wild pitch in there and an error and all kinds of lame stuff. Um, and that'll do it. Good job by Glenn Wilson. He's got a home run in each of the games so far. And also, I think Daryl Sconiers does. Does he not? He does not. Okay. Oh, yeah, because they had no runs yesterday. Why, why do I keep thinking of that? Okay, that's it. We're going to come back tomorrow with Game 3. Hopefully, Petrie shows up. Browning, he will not be resigned either. That's going to do it. Until next time, everyone, have a great day.